Hi, my name is Jamie Rue, and this is my end of summer book haul. Okay, so I have food poisoning at the moment. So I have vomited about 12 times today. Life is going great and I should probably be in bed, but we're here. This is about the lowest production quality I'll ever have. My dog is sitting in my lap and crying because he refuses to be anywhere else and not cry. He's also crying in my lap, but like, I don't, I don't know what to do. This is the shitty part of my bookshelf that no one sees because it's a goddamn mess. I have no makeup on because I was vomiting all day. I just got a giant shipment of books from the book outlet. Without further ado, <laughs> first I'm going to talk about Anne of Green Gables by Ella Montgomery. I have zero clue what this book is about. I know the girl in it is a redhead. It's about it. Literally, I don't know. I just know that the cover is pretty and that at some point I'm probably gonna have to read this book because I am an English major. So we're just gonna, this is, I have it now. It's fine. Next. I have The Diaries of Adam and Eve by Mark Twain. I've read Mark Twain before, I've read Tom Sawyer, i read Huckleberry Finn, parts of them anyway. I hated both of them. I also have those in this haul, spoiler alert, but I hated those two books because they were boring as hell. But this book, I read part of it and it was pretty good, so I bought it because it's literally Adam and Eve's journals and them bitching about each other. It's an epistolary. It's fun. <laughs> Speaking of Mark Twain, let's just get this over with. We have Huckleberry Finn and we have Tom Sawyer. I hated both of what I've read of these books. Tom Sawyer a lot more than Huck Finn. Huck Finn was kind of acceptable. This was like, I'm so bored and I don't know what's happening. But I have both these books now and at least they're somewhat pretty. They're kind of nice editions of these god awful books, but I have them now and I need to read them. I think I need to read them anyway, probably as an English major. Also, high key. I might need to read different editions of these as an English major, but it's fine. I really need you to stop crying, okay? Um, it's getting annoying. Let's just get the rest of the classics I have out of the way. I have The Scarlet Letter by Nathaniel Hawthorne. This is one of those books that I probably should have read in high school, except I was never in the classes that read this in high school, because I was in honors English classes, and the regular English classes read this, and we didn't, and I think that's dumb, because I wanted to read this, but we never did. So, this is The Scarlet Letter. Look at how pretty it is. Look at this pretty edition of this. And I have this now, and at some point I will read it. It's about, like, adultery, basically. Now for a book that's a classic that I've heard a whole bunch about, but I don't know what it's about at all. Othello. I have literally absolutely no clue what this is about. So we're just gonna ignore that and I'm gonna read it at some point and I won't be a horrible want to be English major anymore. I'll be like a normal one who knows what Othello is about because it's freaking Othello and I should know what it's about because I want to be an English major. This is a great video. <laughs> if you can't tell, I'm not over here like dying. Next I have a book that no one has heard of because I hadn't heard of it. Uh, it's called The Safety of Objects by A.M. Holmes and Ikey. I bought this book because of the cover and because of the name. It's like a book of short stories about like somewhat dangerous things but not actually dangerous. They're dangerous like situations but like you know the pretentious dangerous situations like not actually dangerous but like you know you know those pretentious books you know what i'm talking about <laughs> it's one of those i think but i bought it so now i have it and i'm going to read it next i have literary starbucks by these people whose names i do not remember and have no desire to remember this is a non-spoilable book because it says stuff like f scott fitzgerald orders a grande coffee he adds cream and sugar but when he drinks it it tastes more bitter than he expected he drinks it all anyway like it's it's one of those books that you put in your bathroom and then you like flip through it while you're doing your stuff in the bathroom except like I'm not gonna put this in my bathroom it's probably literally just gonna sit on my bookshelf for the rest of eternity because I'm never gonna read this I am a goddamn mess and I bought the third book in a series that I really didn't plan on reading but I guess now I have to it's by Maureen Johnson the first book in the series is called The Name of the Star I think yeah The Name of the Star I was right it's a, I think it's about London. I don't know what the series is about. This is the third book. It's called The Shadow Cabinet. I borrowed the name of the star at the library three times and I never read it. So uh, maybe I should do that at some point. I own this book now. 
Next, I have Nerve by Jean Ryan. Ryan, Jean Ryan, yeah. This was made into a movie, clearly, because Emma Roberts' face is on it. Don't really know what it's about. I think, if I remember the trailers for the movie correctly, it's about this girl who decides to go on some show where she does a whole bunch of dares, except like the dares get really dangerous and she's doing it for money. I think that's what this is about. But my friend watched the movie and said it was good and wanted me to watch it, except I am that annoying person who would rather read the book or would rather read the book first. I will probably just watch the movie without reading the book but I can say that I own the book and that's enough for me. I have The Gunslinger by Stephen King. It's the first book in the Dark Towers series. I think it's being made into a movie. Confession, I don't really like Stephen King. His writing is boring and overly detailed and I don't like either of those things. I don't really give a shit about what your curtains look like or about what time it was when you were driving down that road or what color your hair is. I don't really even care about that. When I'm reading, I kind of glaze over that stuff. High key, I thought the main character of the Legend series was black until I actually read the end and it turns out he's blonde and uh, I felt dumb. Anyway, The Gunslinger by Stephen King. I hated misery, I hated on writing. Maybe, just maybe, I will read this and like it and I can finally say that I like the Stephen King book. Probably not gonna happen. Next. I have The Elite by Kira Cass. I've read this series already, the selection series. The first one looks like this. I have the first book somewhere. I don't feel like looking for it. So I finished this whole series in literally one day. It was an okay read. The main character's name is America, okay? Like nothing about this book was great. <laughs> it was decent. This was The Bachelor except in a kingdom, all right? How much can you really expect from a book like this? For a book like that, it was good. The main character was annoying as hell and I never want to see her face again. I have no plans on reading the books about America's daughter because that's dumb and basically just The Bachelorette, but for royalty. And I don't want that. Next, I have The Epic Adventures of Lydia Bennett. For those of you, I was gonna say for those of you who are living under a rock, but I am living in the past because this series came out in like 2012. For those of you that haven't seen The Lizzie Bennet Diaries, it is an adaptation of Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen and it's like a vlog series by Hank Green or like started by Hank Green. Hank Green of the Vlog Brothers, by the way, was directed by Bernie Sue. I loved that series. I have seen that series multiple times. Uh, there are like a hundred episodes. I've seen all of them multiple times. Yeah, that's, that's the kind of person I am. And Lizzie is the main character and Lizzie has a sister named Lydia. And this is a book about her. And I always really liked Slytherin's character. I also really like the actress Mary Kate Wiles. Um, she's a YouTuber and she does a whole bunch of like really cool acting stuff in several things. Look up shipwrecked comedy. She's in a lot of those and she's very good in them. I really liked the character of Lydia Bennett. I reviewed the diaries of Lizzie Bennett. Next, I have Unwind by Neil Schusterman, my friend has been nagging me to read this for the better part of a year. I always avoided this book because of the really terrifying and also just kind of shitty cover because like what the frick kind of cover is this? It's awful. So like all these people are born specifically so their organs can go to other people. So it's like, what? Um, but anyway, that's the premise of this book. Two more to go guys and then I can go throw up again. <laughs> Next, I have the second book in the Zeros series by Scott Westerfeld. Scott Westerfeld who wrote The Uglies, which is here, and Afterworld, which is here and the Leviathan series. Zeros is the first book of his that I actually really liked. I liked the idea of Afterworld. I didn't like Afterworlds itself so much just because I can't stand Scott Westerfeld's writing style for some reason. Scott Westerfeld, along with Margo Lenigan and Deborah Biancotti, have come up with the second book in the Zeros series. This is autographed actually, which is hilarious because I didn't know this was autographed until literally right now. But in any case, the Zeros was about a group of people with superpowers who decide to band together and call themselves Zeros instead of Heroes and it's about their superhero teenager lives and I think it was fun so it actually held my attention for a while I was still thinking about it a week after I finished that's how you know it's a good book if you like read the book and then you're still thinking about it a week after like involuntarily that's how you know it's a good book Zeros was a good book I think I also reviewed Zeros by the way I don't remember the final book I have for you is by Tara Moffey and it is called Furthermore. And I have not read any other Tara Moffey books. I think I have Shatter Me. This is signed too, what? That's much more exciting. Oh, 
not one. In any case, I bought it because it looked exciting. Because look at that sick cover, right? Tell me you don't want to buy this book just because of the cover. This is about some kid who lives in a magical world and it's something about magic and colors. And I think it's a middle grade. It has to be a middle grade because look at this cover. No YA novel has this kind of cover. It's all middle grade. I love middle grade covers. They're so sick. I bought this actually specifically because it was a middle grade because my NaNoWriMo novel, for those of you that watch this video, uh, you're gonna find out early that I am doing NaNoWriMo this year despite the fact that I'm a freshman in college, my NaNoWriMo novel is middle grade. So I've been rereading a whole bunch of middle grade books like the Percy Jackson books and I'm rereading the Secret series, I'm reading the Golden Compass for the first time, but I've been reading a whole bunch of those so I figured I should buy like a new one and read that. I'm totally down. For this book even though i don't really super remember what it's about oh oh my god wait i lied i lied i lied okay here <laughs> the infinite sea by rick yancey i think i reviewed this book too um i don't remember what the hell i said in that review but if i said i liked it i am now changing my mind i did not like this it wasn't very good especially in comparison to the fifth wave it like pales in comparison to the fifth wave paled so much that i haven't read the last star yet because i gave up on the series i think the first book was good but the second book eh also, high key, this is paperback, clearly. I already own the fifth wave in hardcover because I'm dumb. So I need to either find a paperback version of this or find a hardcover version of this and get like one of these two books because I can't have this because this is dumb. This was the worst video I've ever made. I want to die a little bit, I'm a little bit nauseous. I have books all over my floor now. I want to die. I'm going to go now and probably either sleep or vomit. So, uh... Yeah, food poisoning. I do not recommend it. Say bye. Say bye. Bye.